Ah, ah. Man, I don't have anything to wear. Translation, I'm tired of my boring closet and I don't want to wear the same boring thing over and over and over again. That's right, not only do I speak English and Spanish, but I also speak style and I know what it feels like to say, I don't have anything to wear, but in reality, you're just tired of your boring closet. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do when you're stuck in that rut. See, so the root cause of this problem is falling into repetition and comfort. So you probably already have a stylish closet, but you keep wearing the same things over and over again instead of mixing and matching and composing stylish outfits. So for example, almost everybody has a, a good hoodie in their closet. If you don't, you should. Well, if you're getting tired of that, then dress up that hoodie. Throw a denim jacket over it. If you want a trendy look, pair it with some ripped jeans and sneakers and you're good to go. You have the exact same outfit except you, you spiced it up. You thought outside the box. Instead of just going and stopping at the hoodie, you decided to take it a step further just in the name of style. Now let's go to number two, a second outfit example. Wear all black. See, the thing is that almost everybody has all black pieces. Almost everybody has a black t-shirt. Almost everybody has black pants, black jeans. And a lot of people have black shoes. Why not pair them all together? It's an easy outfit to put on, you know it's gonna make you look good, and requires little to no thought to compose in the morning. The only key aspect of this is when you're going out for that murdered out look, you wanna make sure that your accessories are also blacked out. I mean, just look at how sexy my wrist looks in this example. I'm wearing a blacked out Duffith watch and it just works perfectly with the aesthetic and style that I'm going for. This murdered out, completely black the fifth watch has to be one of my favorite ones from their collection just because it's simple, it's thin, it's light, lightweight. Sometimes I don't even remember I have a watch on my wrist because it's so small, it's not intrusive, but it still adds to my style and it makes those trendy outfits that I'm trying to compose even better. And right now it's perfect time to pick up a watch from the fifth, our sponsor, because now they have their store open year round. So before, as you guys used to know, the fifth watches would only sell on the fifth of the month, which I know for a lot of you, it would make it hard. I would get emails all the time of guys that couldn't buy the watch because every fifth of the month, they would forget to go on and pick one up. And by the sixth or seventh, they were sold out. Now that's not the case. Now they have the store open year round. So you can go on right now. I'm going to have the link below and you can check out their whole lineup. Trust me, your wardrobe is going to thank me for it. However, whether you're part of the fifth fam already, or if you've never even tried tried one, I still suggest you sign up to their mailing list. Again, it's free to sign up and I'm going to have it linked below. This is because now what they're doing is that every fifth of the month, they're dropping a limited edition collection. So you're going to have basically one of the most unique watches from their brand. Whatever the case is, definitely check them out. The link's going to be down below with a discount code so you can finally pick yourself up one of the best minimalist watches in the market. Now let's move on to the third outfit idea. Let's talk about the plain white t-shirt. This is something that everybody has in their closet. An easy way to spice it up is by using, for example, a checked button down shirt on top of that t-shirt. Keep the same dark jeans and the same sneakers you would wear, just spice it up by throwing that shirt over it. Then just roll up the sleeves. You can even partially tuck in the t-shirt and you're good to go. Which brings me to the fourth tip. It's your footwork. No, I don't mean you're dancing. What I mean is that you have to, again, think about wearing pieces differently than you would. So instead of always wearing sneakers, switch it up a bit. Invest in a pair of chukka boots. Invest in a pair of loafers. In a pair of Chelsea boots. Something that's outside your box that's gonna, yeah, it's gonna take you out of your comfort zone, but it's also gonna develop your style. And this is the theme of this whole video, taking stuff you have in your closet and using it just differently. And if you don't know how to do it, outside of the examples I'm giving you in this video, social media is a powerful tool for it, your Pinterest and your Instagram. So if you have a pair of Chelsea boots and you have no idea how to style them, literally just go on Pinterest and put Chelsea boots for men and you're gonna see all these different outfit inspirations that then you can recreate. And finally, number five, the last tip I'm gonna give you. Now this one only works for fall and winter, so about 50% of the year. But in short, just wear an overcoat over anything. Most people buy overcoats and usually only end up using it in really dapper settings. But if it's a trim fitting, modern cut overcoat, you literally can wear that thing over almost anything. I've seen people wear it over hoodies, over turtlenecks, over t-shirts, over jumpers, over dress shirts. Literally, you can wear an overcoat almost over any piece of clothing you have that's not just a suit. All right, boys, so that's it for this week's video. Those are five ways that you can get out of that style rut of not knowing what to wear. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Fifth. I'm gonna have them linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.